So DeForest Buckner goes to the 49ers, number seven. Uh, I, th I think a lot of people expected this. Uh, Buckner, the huge lineman out of Oregon, the first player drafted tonight that, that was uh, not at the draft. Um, apparently he is in a crawfish and crab shack. So there you go. Um, of course, an Oregon guy, right? Chip Kelly moving San Francisco. DeForest Buckner, a player um, that uh, he recruited to there, I, I believe. I could be wrong. Someone can correct me if I'm wrong. Um, so DeForest Buckner is a player I think is a little bit overrated. I did not have him as a top 10 pick in this draft. I had him down at number 16 on my big board. And not that he's, he's a bad player, uh, but he's just very inconsistent. Uh, there's some games where he absolutely dominated. And when you're 6'7", and you're, you're that big, and, and that strong, he has this great lower body strength, he's tough to stop. I saw him get beat by a lot of linemen that had no business beating a future NFL top 10 pick. Uh, and the reason sometimes is that height. There are a lot of guys that got good leverage on him that, that could get under his pads. And, and that's such a difficult thing. We've seen a lot of these bigger defensive linemen um, not do so well in the NFL. And uh, to, to, you know, to me, it is what, um, well, uh, I'm, I'm going to stop there because we just have a trade to number eight. So the Cleveland Browns have moved down from eight to 15, and the Tennessee Titans have moved up to the number eight pick. I, I think we're, we could see Laramie Tunsil here um, go here. And um, let me finish up on Buckner real quick. I think he is better than Eric Armstead. I know a lot of people are making that mention. Armstead also playing for San Francisco. I, I think he's better. I think he was much more dominant than Armstead was. Uh, and I think the five techniques the best place for Buckner to go because he can use that wingspan. He can stop the run in the edge. So, um, so let's see, let me see if I can 